Hey guys, just an opinion here, just like it says on my sweatshirt, uh, but I'll do that plug later. But uh, this is my very first ever FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions video. I've been threatening to do one. Um, people have even asked me to do them. I do get a lot of questions, so there are some questions that are frequently asked. So this is a legitimate FAQ and not just one of those marketing FAQs about here are the questions that we know the answers to, so they're the ones we're going to put out there. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in. First and foremost, the question I've probably gotten more than anything else over the years on the channel is, what are those shirts you're wearing? And when the weather is warm, or even sometimes when it's a little cool, I'll wear it over, you know, another shirt. But these are the shirts uh, that you guys see me wear, right? And you got the little Velcro patches on the sleeves where I can put, you know, a little the little bullet guy from Patriot Patch um, and things like that. They're really nice because they got that that V neck, um, and for me it's convenient because I can pl I can hook my little mic right onto there, and it's kind of just in the right spot, it stays out of my way. Uh, they're they're cool uh, in the summer. They breathe really really well. So the answer to that question, well, first let me give you a tiny bit of backstory. Bear with me. You know, that <laughs> this is the Just an Opinion channel. There are no short answers here. Uh, so the very first shirt like that I got, my introduction to the shirt was. This one that I got from Talon. See, it says Talon right there. Um, Talon sent me this shirt, and this, this, has year, this was years ago. And look how well it's held up. I mean, I don't wear it as much now. The reason is because it's a large, and I've kind of switched into the mediums. Um, so this one feels a little big, unless I'm wearing it over a sweater or a sweatshirt or something. I do occasionally do that. Uh, and you can see on the back, which you don't see very often, um, if I'm shooting a match, the people behind me get to see it, but... Right there, get a grip. So this was this was sent to me by Talon a long time ago, and I loved it. So I did some research and found where I could get these shirts. So that's what I'm getting ready to tell you right now. All right, I've got all this stuff written down because my memory, even even when it was good, it wasn't very good. So the name of these shirts, uh, these are Veloc. They're made by Velocity Systems. That's who makes them. This is called a Boss Rugby shirt. So, <laughs> perfect for me, right? Um, the place that I found where I've purchased all of the ones I've bought, and looks like they still have them, they're still in stock, and their prices are decent, is SKD Tactical. So, Velo Velocity Systems Boss Rugby shirt from SKD Tactical. And I'll put a link down in the information below this video. So... Uh, look for that down there. Um, there's nothing in it for me. There's no, pl you know, I don't, uh, th those people haven't got any clue, um, you know, that I'm plugging their their website or, or that I'm plugging the people who make the shirts. So, so there's nothing in it for me, and I don't have a discount code or anything like that that I can offer you. I wish I did, but uh, that is where you can find those shirts, and I do highly recommend them. You can see how much I wear them. And they're great in, in the summertime and even in the shoulder seasons. They're, they're excellent shirts. They hold up very well, and they're very comfortable. So in no particular order as we move along here, but the next thing that I've gotten a lot of questions about is, hey, man, where did you get those glasses? Yeah, so, you know, I've been wearing these glasses for uh, not quite a year because I got them in the spring of 2020 and they are from Dillon and yes the same Dillon that makes the reloading equipment Dillon Precision only this is Dillon Optics and it actually does say Dillon on the side but you know you're usually not going to be able to read that uh, and when I'm at, at the range wearing them but uh, these are Dillon Optics and I forget the exact model of this particular glasses uh, I don't think it does say that it's made in Italy right here on the side so so it's got this NIR polarized lens but it's got this great matte finish on the front what I, I, I like the look number one so I'm just gonna confess right off right off the top I think it's a very cool look um, 
the other thing is, you know, I have blue eyes. They're very sensitive to bright light. And when I'm out in the summertime and it's bright out, it, it, I have to have like four pairs of sunglasses on. So they're really dark and they're polarized. And that helps me with that. Um, but I, I like the look of them. And the other thing that's really cool, in addition to the just that whole, wow, aren't they, aren't they so cool, is there's no reflections in the front of the lenses. So, you know, I work alone at the range 99.9% .9 of the time. So I've got cameras set up and all that, obviously. And it, this way, you know, you're not seeing the reflection of my cameras and my glasses, which I think adds a little bit of professionalism. <laughs> I get it where I can, people. I get it where I can um, to the videos. So I like that part of it, too. Uh, and they're just, they're good. They've held up really well. Um, I've been wearing them a whole lot. Now, the one thing I will tell you, they are not, they are not ANSI certified. And so, you know, they're not ballistic glasses. So, you know, by all rights, I shouldn't be promoting them for use at the range. And I'm really not. I'm not promoting them for use at the range. I wear them at the range. You, you can do what I do or you, you don't have to do what I do. But uh, it's, it's a shame, especially coming from Dylan. It's like, come on, guys. Really? <laughs> Seriously? At least make a couple of, of the options, you know, that are, that are rated for that. But I have been smacked in these glasses, and I've got a little nick on one of the lenses. I've been smacked. Um, and they, you know, they do a good job, but uh, they are not, they are not certified ballistic glasses. All right, moving down the list to definitely a question I've gotten a lot is, what kind of ear pro are you wearing? What is, you know, what's the ear protection? I wear the inside the ear, and um, most of the time you can see that. You can see this orange and blue part. And sometimes maybe you can see this part this kind of behind my ear. Well, this is what they look like. I'm not going to show you a close-up because it's probably all nasty and gross because it goes in my ear all the time. But uh, it's a, there's a right and a left, and they were custom-made, custom-molded to fit inside my ears. Um, it was one of those they did them on the spot type of things, and it's not a company that I could give you information about. So, unfortunately, there's, there's really no way I can share. Here's how you can get a pair. Um, but it's really like a... Um, it's really like a hearing aid, the, the, the electronic part. And then there's a little tube that goes down through this silicone that, again, was molded right into my ear. So, it was a neat process. Um, it was a, a very nice gentleman named Paul, who I don't know well, but we've SO'd together at matches a few times. Um, and probably shot a couple of matches, uh, you know, together or whatever, but, uh, nice, nice man named Paul and his lovely wife, and they travel from, you know, matches, uh, and trade shows and, you know, industry events, I guess, uh, in the mid Atlantic region. That's where I am. So Southeastern Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, probably up into New York, maybe down into Virginia, that area. So if you happen to see them, you know, ask the guy if his name's Paul, uh, if he's doing ear pro, uh, and, you know, he's the one. Okay, this one, um, I get asked not as much, but I do get the occasional question about the gloves, shooting gloves. Whenever I'm wearing gloves, and usually I'm wearing gloves because it's cold, I don't wear them because I prefer shooting with gloves. I hate shooting with gloves, um, which is really the point that I'll get to with these. So, People ask me what, what the gloves are that I'm wearing because they, they are nice looking. I mean, they're attractive for, for shooting when you see them on camera. Um, they are 5.11s. Um, they are small, so they fit my hand really tight. And that's I have to have that. I can't have something loose and flimsy. I can't have that extra material out past the end of my finger. Uh, it drives me insane. <laughs> Um, so unfortunately, because of that, they don't really help a whole lot with the temperature because, you know, they're tight to my hand. So, you know, it's almost like why bother, but at least it keeps me from touching cold things <laughs> and, and making myself colder. That's a, really about all I accomplish with them. Uh, but they're really nice. They're 5.11s and they are starting to show their, their wear. And I've actually, um, been looking to buy a new pair. And I'm disappointed because they don't seem to be offering this exact glove anymore. This is got a little tag on it 
that doesn't really identify it much. It just says, it says built tough by ironclad. So uh, ironclad is the maker of this glove and they were subcontracted out by 511 to make these with the 511 branding on it. So I'm disappointed that they don't make them anymore because these do need to be replaced. I have ordered a new pair uh, and it is a new 511 pair and it looks similar but it's not the same glove. I should have those soon and I'll probably be wearing them soon because it's still winter time so I will let you know what I think of them. <laughs> I hope you guys can't hear my stomach growling. Like, what the hell? My stomach hasn't growled all day. Now I turn on a microphone, my stomach starts growling. Probably the other question I'm asked a lot, maybe the most, is, you know, why are you such an idiot? I've given it a lot of thought. I really have. And I agree. <laughs> Guilty as charged, but I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what to tell you. I just am. Okay, but the last frequently asked question... For this video, there may be another one down the road if I get uh, if I, I get another list going of frequently asked questions. But the last one for this video is very recent, or well, in the last few months, people have been asking me or nagging me or just making general comments about the hair. <laughs> what's up with the hair? But before I before I let you know what's up with the hair, I'm going to say this: a lot of people are using the word mullet. Please take a minute educate yourself there's got to be a dictionary somewhere near you there's got to be an internet that you have access to look up the definition for a mullet come on guys Part business in the front party in the back right a mullet is neatly trimmed short cropped hair in the front with a you know like from here back long this is not a mullet i have not had a haircut in almost a year since probably the beginning of march of 2020 it was the last time I had a haircut so it's all grown the same amount <laughs> all of it which is why it looks so weird um, so it's not a mullet number one I do take exception to that because you know even though I own a Camaro <laughs> and I'm eligible to have a mullet it's not a mullet uh, but okay serious answer to the what's up with the hair um, I don't do I don't do masks I don't wear masks. I will wear a mask if there is absolutely no other alternative and it's something that must be done. Sitting for an hour, you know, half hour to an hour, getting a haircut, having to wear a mask, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. I don't care. Call me whatever names you want to. Um, I don't offer that information because I like to preach. I'm not preaching. I do me, you do you. Uh, but I get a lot of questions about the hair, a lot of comments about the hair. That's the reason. Okay, that's it. I think I made it through my list of frequently asked questions. There weren't too many, right? Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Uh, I enjoyed doing this. This is kind of fun for me, something a little bit different. So hopefully it wasn't too horribly boring or god-awful for you to watch. If it was, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and if I get a horrible reaction to this video, I probably won't do any more. But uh, this was fun for me, and it's a great way to make a video in the winter and, and when the weather's terrible outside and I can't go shoot and we don't have ammo anyway. So uh, I don't like to do political stuff. I don't like to rant and rave, so I'm not going to not gonna become that guy. So maybe I'll think of other things that we can chat about <laughs> like this. Uh, thanks very much. What you're seeing behind me, actually, just is a little sort of a peak what you see behind me is that's the review table that's the top down review table there's a camera above my head pointed straight down uh, between those two lights that you see uh, so that's where those those reviews get done so I just kind of figured I can use the same space every once in a while to face a different camera and say hello and have a chat so um, that's it thanks for watching my first FAQ hope you guys are doing well Hang in there.